What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to save components to your library for use in later models. If you have any questions about anything we talk about, feel free to leave them down below. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so somehow I have not done a very comprehensive video on this, and so we're gonna talk through this right now. And so one of the things that you may want to do is you may have different models that you wanna reuse across different, um, different model files. Files, right? So for example, you might use a lot of the same furniture, a lot of the same doors and windows, other things like that. And you want to be able to access them quickly without having to go find them again in the 3D warehouse or anything like that. And so there's a couple different ways to do this. And first off, I'm going to show you a way to do this locally, meaning saving it on your computer. Um, then I'll show you a way that you can do it within the 3D warehouse as well for accessing those models. But let's go ahead and let's say that we wanted to keep these three models in the future. And so what you would do is the way that the system works in SketchUp right now, if you go into the component section of your tray, there's actually a window in here that allows you to manage some things like this. Um, and so at the moment, what it does is it defaults to the 3D warehouse, meaning you can come in here and you can search for like chair or whatever it's gonna search the warehouse. And honestly, the functionality inside of this particular window is pretty limited, so I don't use it like this very often. But what you can do is you can also use this to view other things. Like for example, in the past, we've used this to view things that are in my model. So notice how it's showing me every single component that's contained in this model in this little window. So like for example, if I wanted to bring in another copy of this stool, I could just click on this right here and notice how I can bring it in. And I can do that for any of the components that live inside of the local model. Right, these all sit in that local model right now, so it's finding them because we've selected in model. Now, there's a little drop down over here under the arrow. So if you click on the arrow, there is an option in here to open or create a collection. And so what that means is that means that it's gonna give you the ability to open a folder on your computer and see what files are inside of it. Okay, and so if I go look on the file explorer on my computer, I have a folder where I save SketchUp files. This is basically where I save my different assets. And so for example, what I can do is I can open up any of these folders and see the different SketchUp files that are in there. So for example, if I look in here, I have a number of additional flex doors in here in my doors section. I also have different sofas that I've saved, um, depending on if I want to use them again. But this is basically just a folder system that is organized um, based on the model type. Right, so I've got windows, I've got doors, I've got chairs, um, I've got this set up the way that I want it from an organizational standpoint. Now, one thing that you might not know is you can actually, within your file explorer, you can come in here and you can drag things into SketchUp. So like for example, I could drag this flex door in here. Well, notice how when I do that, it's actually going to show up inside of SketchUp, which is pretty cool, but the problem with this is I don't really get a preview of what these are going to look like, right? So what I can do instead is I can jump over into the component section of my tray, click on this drop down and click on open or create a collection. And so what I can do is I can navigate to that folder and I could either pick this folder or I could pick one of these folders right here. So if I was to pick this folder, what that's going to do is that's going to basically show me the folders that live inside of that SketchUp models folder, right? So I can see sofas, tables, windows, etc., And I can click on them and see what's in them. So in this case, I can see these different doors and I can click and I can bring them in just like this. So super easy to do um, from that standpoint. You can also open or create a collection and you can pick the actual folders themselves, right? So if I just wanna see what's in my chairs folder, for example, I can just select that folder right here and I can see all of the chairs that are contained in that folder, right? So I can click in here, I can drop this in, I can really do whatever I want with that. And we'll come back to this chair in a minute because that did something interesting. But for now, let's say that I wanted to save something to that collection. Well, what I would need to do is I would need to take these model files and I would need to save them into that chair's folder, right? That's all that I've done is I've just saved these as SketchUp models inside of the folder so this can reference them. Well, remember that components have the option to right click and do a save as. When you do a save as, basically what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to save that component in a folder. So in this case, this is the sale side chair. So I'm gonna click on save. 
Well, notice how now this folder has updated. Well, if I look in here, that sales side chair has been saved as a model in that folder. And now I can bring it in using my component browser like this. So we could do this for all of these files. So I could save this fail in here. I could save this file in here, just like this is caper multi-purpose stool. Well, notice how as soon as I do that, this is going to find those in that folder and you can bring them in like this. So this is a fast, easy way to access those different folders. And notice how, by the way, if I click on the little drop down right here, there's an option in here to go to recent folders. So if you've been in that doors folder, you can click in here and you can pick the different folders that you've been in recently, just like this. It's also going to show your recent searches in the 3D warehouse. So um, you can use this in order to really easily manage these files. So I have not found a way to make it so that this folder is just like automatically open. So I think in every model, you're just going to have to go in here one time and do open or create a collection and just find that folder bring it in here. Like it's not super time consuming. Now I have this in here and I don't have to redo it over and over again. That is something about this is I've not found a way to set like a default models folder or anything that's open all the time. Now, um, one other thing that I do want to point out with this is remember when we brought this chair in. So let's go back to our chairs folder real quick. And this one was the Herman Miller Eames plywood dining chair. So when I brought this in, Notice how this one gets brought in a little ways away from my mouse cursor, right? So some of the others, the mouse cursor was like right on the object. Well, this can make placing this object a little bit, uh, we'll go with annoying. Um, so notice how when I click, I'm clicking here, but my model's placed all the way over here. The reason for that is because that model has an origin inside of it, right? All components have their own model origin, which is basically the point where the object axes are right here. Well, that object or that set of axes is what is basically setting the insertion point for your object. So in this case, because it's over here, but my model's over here, my model's getting placed further away. However, if I come into this object, right here, and I'm just going to kind of scroll down to the bottom right here, but I'm gonna use the axis tool and I'm gonna find a point, and this point's probably fine, and I reset that object axis. So notice how if I click out of here, it's gonna ask if I wanna update the component axes to match my sketch axes, and I'm gonna say yes. Well now, I'm gonna save over that model, right? So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna do a save as, and we'll replace it well, notice how now, because I've replaced this with a model that actually has the model axes on the model geometry right here, notice how now that placement point is right under my mouse. So if you ever have a situation, and I'm gonna go ahead and mess up these axes because they're actually working fine right now. So the model author set this up right, but say that you ever run into a situation where um, your model axes are kind of flipped like this, so like the blue axis is not up, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, save those component axes. But if I do a file save as, this one, I'm gonna save it under tables. Well, if I go into that tables folder and I bring this in, notice how that model gets inserted in kind of a weird direction whenever I click in here. That's because I messed up those model axes. So in this case, what I might wanna do is I might wanna place this based on the center of this object. So I can just double click in here. I'm going to set the model axes right here. And remember that you want the blue axes to face up, right, on the Z axis. So we'll go ahead and set this so blue is up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a save as. Uh, yes, that's fine. And we'll save over that model, but now, Notice how when I bring this in, the placement point is where that model axis is right in the bottom, right here. So this is how you can save these models locally on your computer. Now you do have another option in here, which is most of the time you're gonna be picking up models like this from a 3D warehouse anyway. So what you can do within the 3D warehouse is you can pick objects and you can save them to collections. Like for example, say that I needed a tables collection. Well, I'm going to click on this table 
right here. And notice how there's a little drop down right here for collections. Well, I can create a new collection and I can call it tables. And when I create that, and you do wanna make sure that you actually save this to the tables collection right here. Let's say I saved a couple more in here. So we'll go with this one right here. We're gonna add this to my tables collection right here. We'll go with this one. And we'll add it to our tables collection like this. Well, now you can access those by going into your profile and then you can go into your profile. You can click on my content and within my content, you can access those collections that you've created. Though it's a little weird because they're called collections, but then they're saved as a folder, um, which I'm a little bit confused about, but I mean, not that hard to figure out. But if I go into my tables, notice how all of those tables are in the models section right here, and I can bring these in wherever I want. So if you want to, instead of saving these locally, um, you can also just save those to collections in the 3D warehouse and access them quickly. The added bonus to saving them in the 3D warehouse is because I've got these saved in that collection right here. So because I've got this saved in that collection, I'm actually linking to these in the 3D warehouse. And so if I wanted more models from this author, don't click right here. I don't know why, but when you click on the author in here, it pops this up in a browser, which isn't especially helpful to me click in here and then click on this name and you can see other products and models from that manufacturer. So um, if you do save these, it does give you the ability to access other models from that same manufacturer. So this might be something that you wanna consider. I do still like having some models locally, but I think in a lot of cases, you can manage this all on the 3D warehouse and it can save you a lot of time. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about managing your model libraries and SketchUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do wanna learn a little bit more about how to use SketchUp, make sure to check out my course. I will link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.